Wait for it. Okay, beautiful. It didn't blow me up, and Matchwood is a fucking tank, so I don't need to worry about him. We're gonna keep evacing out this way. Come on, Matchwood. Stay with me. Stay with me. Get out, Fuck Matchwood! About to fire. Get, down. Get out, Matchwood! I oh, need you with down. me! I need you here, Matchwood, right now! Love to all, and welcome, everybody. My name is Black Hollow, and this is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Welcome back, everybody. My good golly gosh, am I excited to be back here in Ghost Recon on the PC. Man, it has been a while, and uh, it's going to surely test my skill and muscle memory getting back into it today, because if you've seen the thumbnail and the title, you know we are in for one hell of a mission today. It is a mission that is not even our own. That is right. We are going to be backing up the one and only Sam Fisher today. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen this mission or maybe even played it yourself. I personally have not, so I'm looking forward uh, to today's mission. It's going to be conducted down in La Cruz later tonight. Uh, I've gathered a little bit of intel, and I've, uh, I've, I've found out where it's going to take place at. So uh, my plan is, even though we don't have really any information on when Fisher is getting boots down on the ground, he may be even there right now. I don't know. Uh, but I want to run a recon mission with me and my team. Uh, so we're going to be dr uh, dressed up, as you guys can see, disguised as rebel leaders. And uh, we're going to take an aquatic approach uh, from here at uh, at the Itaqua uh, rally point in the uh, southeastern portion of the province. We're going to jump in this Zodiac on, uh, I think there's a Zodiac over here. Yeah, we're going to take this bad boy down the river. And I already have a waypoint marked, uh, which appears to be a safe landing zone down in La Cruz. Uh, we are burning daylight, by the way, and it is a night mission. I want to get as much accomplished today as possible and then return to the rally point uh, okay. so that that way we can get, you know, changed up and get prepped for the mission. Um, so let's go ahead and head down there as soon as possible. Oh my god, dude. Alright, well, at least you're not gonna overheat on the boat right down. Am I right or am I right, Weaver? Oh, come on, come on. Come on. It's good to see that all the old AI behavior is still there in the game. Man, have I missed Wildlands. All right, so let's go ahead and start our journey down there. Uh, we're going to hang a right at the only fork that we come to, uh, and then it should be a straight shot after that down the river, all the while looking out for any patrols or sentries that are going to be uh, on the banks either side. Uh, now, while we're headed down there, I would just like to say that uh, I'm. we have a lot here. Let me Let me show you guys this real quick. We have a lot left to do in the game. Okay, there is a lot of content left in this game, and I want to shake it up a little bit. So, uh, hear me out on this, and you're going to only have to hear me out halfway, uh, because I'll address the rest of it at the end of the video, but I want to shake the series up. Things are probably going to be uh, shifting a little bit in how I play Wildlands, and if you guys want to see an example of that or hear me talk more about that, then please wait until the end of the video, enjoy the mission, and then we'll ramble about it. Uh, before I do the outro and all that jazz. I have some really cool stuff up my sleeve, and I think that you guys are going to be looking forward to it. Anybody who's been watching me over on Twitch already knows exactly what I'm talking about, but I digress onto the second half of the point that I'm going to make at the end of the video, so I'm just going to shut my app. Uh, also, we are approaching the uh, what appears to be the landing point over here. Uh, I, I think it's safe. I don't... Oh, shit. I see two patrols. So what I'm going to do is just let the engine start to idle and just chill right under the bridge. Wait for these guys to do their thing. Looks like a motorcade of lieutenants, something like that. Let's hope they both go the same direction so that way I don't have to dodge two of them. But I think that there is a chance that guy's going to make a right. Let's see here. No, looks like he's making a left. Thank God for that satellite feed, that handy dandy satellite feed that tells me where everybody is at regardless of... Uh, of their motions. All right, and in real time, nonetheless. All right, this looks good. Go ahead and hop out. Okay, you can, yeah, go ahead and hop, hop out into the water. Take a page out of Weaver's book. Uh, team, I wanna make sure that nothing bad happens, so I'm gonna have you guys go right here, and uh, I, I think I'm gonna post up right here. This should be a good spot in cover. Hopefully my team doesn't do anything stupid, and we will send a drone no surprise there. Let me see if I can let me see if I can move away from the base a little. Okay, so we do have uh we do have a little pocket. Wait, hey, there it is. All right, here it is. Uh FOB Vibora coordinates the campaign against the rebellion. Oh my god, and uh it is it is fairly sizable as well. There is the drone jammer. Looks like we have a turret. This place is 
incredibly well guarded. Look at all of this stuff they have going on. It looks like the armory the and the generator. Okay, the generator is right there. The armory is right in the in uh, the entryway, which I don't know if that's too smart or not. Looks like I got another guy right there, but I can't really can't really do anything with him at this point. He's just, oh okay, there we go. I marked him. All right, it uh, I was hovered right on him, but it was just Sigils barely outside of my uh, barely outside of my uh, my ability to spot range. It looks like there's also a secondary area here hang on let me go ahead and refer to the map for this one yeah so this is what we're looking at down here uh this is going to be the generator and the drone jammer it looks like there's also a tertiary uh building over here oh my goodness well that that would that looks like it's trouble i was thinking about taking a helicopter down here and doing a flyover i thought that that would be pretty Pretty cool of me, like, you know, the super high altitude uh, reconnaissance, but it doesn't look like that would have worked out in my favor, and I'm very happy I did that. So, it looks like there's also another little area over here, also very well guarded. Multiple foot patrols moving around again. I don't know when Sam is going to get on the ground, but goddamn, he's going to have a lot of work cut out for him. So, uh, it looks like there's a couple high ground air here. I'm actually going to turn the drone off. And uh, let me go ahead and sneak around here. My team is still holding. Remember, this is all about recon. We're going to be formulating the plan uh, for tonight. And I don't know the real specifics about the mission, but I know it's fucking hard. That's what I know about the mission. So I am, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing if my muscle memory kicks back in. Uh, let me go ahead and back out of the range of the drone jammer. And uh, I want to take a look at the surroundings. Uh, it looks like we have a lot of high ground. Uh, that'll probably give us an advantageous position or at least an angle that we can look into the base from uh, Actually, you know what there's oh and look at that. There's a trail leading up right there So I think what I'm gonna do is bingo I'm gonna drop a, a little waypoint beacon right there And I'm also gonna get out of the out of the drone so that way I make sure I don't get spotted by this guy uh, Looks like we have another lieutenant coming down on the bridge I think we should be okay. I'm going to instruct my team to just go ahead and wait here. Uh, from what I can see, let me send a drone out just one more time and check down here. Uh, come on, get out of it. The there we go. Okay, so it doesn't look like lieutenants over there or over there. That rebel vehicle would have been really, really handy. Hey, they got an accident. Uh, that would have been really handy to secure for an evac out of here, but I think the boat will do just fine. So what I'm going to do, you guys, uh, current time of day is, let me see here. Uh, 10 13 we are burning daylight, but we have a hell of a lot of it to burn So I'm gonna huff it over there burn some calories while I'm burning daylight and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cross the road right now as well Let's See here get on the other side. Oh looks like he's turning onto the auxiliary roadway So I am off into the bushes never to be seen again Hopefully maybe actually to be seen again. Just I'm trying to imply stealth here uh, We're gonna make our way down to the waypoint and uh, I will check in with you guys when we get there. It looks like the entirety of the base is surrounded by some sort of a, of a chain link fence. And I believe, yes, it has barbed wire on the top of it. So there is no vaulting over that fence. Uh, I believe that we can blow it up. But again, this mission is based on stealth. Uh, so I am not going to be going that route. That's the only thing I know about this mission is that it's really fucking hard. And it's based on stealth. All right, looks like uh, our team is grouped back up because of their there. teleporter pads. Let me go ahead and just set them down right here. Hopefully, they don't get spotted by anybody. And I'm just going to keep making my way up to this uh, this little landing rock outcropping, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's see if we can get a good peek into the base. Something tells me that we are still within range of the drone jammer. But ah, would you look at that? I have a different angle. And I can uh, I can see a little bit more. It looks like in the back we've got a couple more turret spots, also sniper an additional tower. sniper. Uh, there is that tertiary building over there with the drone jammer. That looks promising. Uh, alarms, rigged alarms are rigged up and everything like that. Actually, no, that's a Sam site. That's not a drone launcher over there. Um, and uh, let me check the map really really quick and just make sure I'm not missing anything. It looks like we have one structure off to our right over here. Wait a minute, is it? Is it the no it's not the power station there's something else that's over there that I'm not quite seeing it's behind the trees I don't think it is part of the Unidad base I don't think I have to worry about anybody being there but I will have to keep that in mind for the future so let me go ahead and send a drone out looks like we are out of the range of the jammer thankfully uh, in the rear okay I got a little bit too close there in the rear of the facility we have several options for evac also a possible uh, big fireworks show if I if I feel so uh, if I feel so compelled to blow that thing up, let me go ahead and back out of the jammed range. Just a little bit more. There we go. It looks like another one right there. 
Uh, I think that that's a foot patrol that's just currently stationary patrolling this particular roadway. Th th from what I can see, this place is really, really, really heavily packed. Very heavily packed. A uh, lot of bad guys in there. And and if I, if I have to sneak into this place, I swear to God, this is going to be really, really difficult. Looks like I got a couple more guys in the trees there. Just kind of lucked out. Didn't really expect to see them, but... We've got our work cut out for us. Okay, so general consensus from recon of the base. They have alarms set up. Uh, they also have a drone jammer, which limits my visibility, and they have a uh, uh, they have a generator. They also have a SAM site, so taking a helicopter down here is definitely out of the question. 110% because we will just get shot down. Uh, the entire base is encompassed by, uh, for the most part at least, and let me go ahead and mark that guy too, another nice. foot patrol, 15. God damn, that's a lot of people down there. Uh, it's encompassed by what appears to be barbed wire um, and a barbed wire chain link fence. These guys you cannot destroy. They are just fixed. Uh, the only locations that I can see in, unfortunately, are very, very close to the uh, to the field of view of the uh, of the sentries that are stationed outside in the uh, in the in the gun nests or whatever you want to call them. So looks like we got another one down there that I didn't mark. So all in all, we're looking at above 20 enemies, at least 15 more than likely above 20 possibly even pushing 25 so we've got a lot of people down here hopefully sam is able to clear out some of them i want to see if i can get another high ground position and maybe get a bird's eye view into the base really get a good idea for what it looks like so let me keep huffing my, huffing my way up here and uh, see if i can find another advantageous area and i will check back in with you guys in just a minute there we are this is a little bit better fantastic and why use the drone when we can just use the binoculars they don't get jammed all right look Looks like uh, nothing else has really revealed itself. I don't see a back door, but I do see a little gate right there. So that may be a possible point of entry. Uh, we definitely can't take a chopper into this place. Um, again, because of the SAM site that is over there. And I don't even want to risk blowing it up because we have a sniper that's right there. Uh, a guy probably watching and making sure that nobody fucks with that thing. And if anything goes wrong... Not only will they be able to hear the explosion because of proximity, but also this guy is, uh, he's, he's going to be something to deal with. So, um, I, you know what, you guys, I'm just going to, I'm going to take a little time to think here. Uh, it is currently noon. I'll take a couple hours. We'll see what I can devise up and, uh, I will let you guys know what I come up with. Wait a minute. Bros. Bros. Bros, that didn't take very long. Okay, where's this chopper that I'm... Oh, shit. Hang on. Uh, let me just make sure that the mission Watch isn't out. botched right now. I'm hoping that we're going to be okay. My team is down there, but I believe I put them in the sticks uh, just a little bit in cover. So let me go ahead and rotate. Just make sure I stay in the blind spot of this chopper. Appears to be good. You guys, look at that. Is anybody else thinking what I'm thinking? Is anybody else thinking what I'm thinking? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see here. Let me get up to this... Uh, this rock shelf. Looks like we've got another roadway up here, and it also appears uh, that the rock shelf was a little bit farther out than I thought it was. It, it looked like it was a hell of a lot closer, but it's just on the other side of this uh, of this rock outcropping up here. So let me see if I can cross effectively. It actually doesn't look like there's any real trail leading up there. So let me send a drone out really quick, and let's find out what we can find out about how to get up there. Um, what is this? That looks like a monastery up. <laughs> San Rodrigo Monastery, a rebel fortified position besieged by the cartel. Where is this at that I'm looking at? It's all in La Cruz. Fantastic. Okay, so we're staying in the same province. Uh, let me go ahead and set a beacon for this point right here. And I honestly do not see a very easy way. Wait a minute. Is that a rally point? Oh my god, that's a rally point. Holy shit. All right, well, we're going over there then. That is... <laughs> That is actually really, really, really fucking handy. Okay, well, I'm huffing it down to the rally point. La Cruz Bravo, the western part of La Cruz. Oh my god, home sweet home. I didn't realize that there would be a rally point so goddamn close to this place. I think this is going to be where we operate out of from uh, from here on out. I don't think we're going to have to return to Otakwa because I was planning on doing that. And uh, now I can see that this this rally point right here, you guys... My god, it's perfect. We can not only see everything, but we're right here. We can literally deploy from right here. Uh, so I'm going to top off my ammo. That's very ominous right there. And uh, now I think I'm going to try to find my way up there. Team, go ahead and hold right here for me. I'm going to get into a better outfit before I do this, though, because 
our secretive, you know, don't look at us portion is all over with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way up there and actually see if we can make a base jump into this place. I really feel like we might actually be able to make a base jump into this place uh, and bypass at least one portion of the, uh, at least one portion of the, of the area, whatever it may be. Again, I'm not entirely sure of the specifics. I have heard a couple things about it being a very stealth mission, uh, the infiltration based mission with multiple parts. Um, but overall, I'm just, I'm planning every contingency, contingency that I possibly can. So let me get up there. Oh my God. What did my mouse do? Let me get up there as quick as I can, you guys. And, uh, let's see what the view looks like from up there. Oh my God. That breeze feels so fucking good. Here we are, you guys. And I do believe that only a complete idiot could fuck this base jump up. Look at this. We do have enemies to our... Uh, to our rear, so we're gonna have to be very cautious about that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and crouch just to make sure that I, I help out in any way that I can that they won't spot me. I don't want to get into a firefight. I don't have my team out here. We are so far out that the base <laughs> is not even loading in. We're getting the shitty LODs right now, but that's okay with me uh, because that says that we've got a decent distance to cover and we should be able to do this uh, just fine. So... I'm thinking what we're going to do is we'll have a couple different approach options. We'll be able to approach from the roadway, uh, the auxiliary roadway, excuse me, uh, this one right here. Uh, that'll be the front door, obviously. Uh, we will have a secondary approach from essentially where I'm at right now uh, and, uh, and and base jumping into the into the facility, trying to land maybe behind uh, the, the hangars or something like that. Uh, and then the third option is if we fall short, on the other side of this area, there is a, a little fence that we can hop over that uh, I saw on the way up. I think I even commentated over it, so you guys probably are aware of it as well. Uh, keeping an eye out for any Unidad or any lieutenants that might be getting suspicious in the area, but I think that we are all clear. So, current time is uh, 1, 2 p.m., coming up on 2 p.m., uh, and I think what I'm going to do now, my dudes, is I'm going to head back down to the rally point. God, a little bit more familiar outfit as well. I changed it on the way up. Uh, we're going to head back down to the, uh, uh, to the rally point. Uh, I'm going to wait for evening to fall. Uh, we'll get all suited up and we'll wait for Sam to call us and give us the details of the mission. All right, my friends, current time is going to be about 8.30 p.m. The sun is setting and that, to my understanding, is when this mission takes place, when it gets dark. Uh, I do not know when Sam is going to be contacting us, but I want to be in position and ready so that that way I can process any information that he gives me, apply it to the plan, and go from there. So, uh, what we are going to be doing is I'm going to take my team with me up to the... Uh, oh my god, what is my mouse doing? Hopefully it doesn't do that when we're on the mission. Uh, I'm going to take my team up to the rock ledge. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a hike, but we're going to have to do it with all the gear. I'm actually just bringing a camel back because I honestly like all the ammo that I have in my vest... That I don't need anything else weighing me down, man. Like, I got everything that uh, that I could possibly need in this giant jug of water. Uh, also, they have a drone jammer down there. So, in terms of, like, bringing the drone backpack or anything like that, it's just kind of unnecessary, I think. So, let's go ahead and make our way up to the, uh, up to the rock shelf. Let's get a good vantage point yet again. And uh, hopefully we can dodge any choppers. Yeah, I was going to say, let me go ahead and go prone here. To try to stay out of sight. Damn, that was uh, that was a variable I did not account for. While we're up here, we are probably going to have some Unidad guys getting in our business. So, uh, let's go ahead and be careful about it. I almost think I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put my team here. And then I'm going to take the rock shelf. And you guys, I'm just going to sit here and wait until Mr. Fisher calls us and lets us know what kind of milk he wants us to bring home from the grocery store. That took no time whatsoever. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Here are my coordinates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got eyes on already, my Remember, dude. Don't be seen, don't be heard, and don't drop any bodies. Don't be seen, don't be heard, and don't drop any bodies. It looks like right there is the Unidad chopper that just flew overhead. Let me go ahead and get my team back up here. Hopefully none of them fall off. I'm really, really hoping that none of them fall off here. Uh, let me go ahead and check the map really quick. Yeah, it looks like here is the mission. Let me go ahead and equip it. Billy Badass himself, Sam Fisher, is in the cruise. He needs your help with something extracurricular. Follow his lead, and I'd advise you to stay on his good side. Sounds good to me, Bowman. Alrighty, so meet with Sam Fisher by 4 a.m. 
don't be detected and don't kill any enemies. Oh my god. Well, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, we have our work cut out for us. Let me go over my gear one more time and just make sure that everything is as it should be. Let me check my team as well. Uh, and then we will go ahead and prep for the jump. Alrighty, team. Nog's on. Check your ship. Make sure you're lock cocked and ready to rock because it is showtime. And it also appears that Mother Nature did not get the memo. But nonetheless, we are still on the clock. We're going to have to make this dive before the lightning sets in. So let me make this quick. Guys, today's weapons are going to be the AUG A3. It is fairly decked out. Uh, but could be a little bit better. Uh, I, I don't have the full-size magazine, the extended magazine, whatever. It's just a 20-round mag right now. Uh, in the secondary slot, uh, we have a vector. Uh, it has a threaded barrel on it, so I can go suppressed if need be. But I'm just going to keep the suppressor off right now and keep the buttstock folded because we're going to be jumping off the side of a fucking mountain, and I don't want this giant piece of... Okay, there's the lightning. All right, well, this storm set in pretty quick. Uh, and then the, uh, the final piece of gear is going to be the 1911 in the uh in the uh, sidearm slot and of course suppress no at pl on this guy so we can't see the laser at night but nonetheless it is still going to be a welcome tool if i ever need to pull it out uh in the heat of battle so guys like i said check your shit make sure you're ready to go check your shoot as well and let's fucking go it is go time oh oh my god i almost i almost fucked that up okay one more time one more time jump and pull back there we go there we go okay now um Oh shit, this is a little nerve-wracking. One thing that I realized to do while I'm uh, while I'm up here floating towards the Unidad base, I neglected to check the map to see exactly where Sam is located at, so we're just going to have to be a little frosty on approach and make sure that we uh we we can alter our course if need be. Hopefully the Sam site doesn't lock onto us. I see it glistening off in the distance there. Keeping an eye out for choppers, anything and everything that may throw us a curveball. Let me go ahead and turn Nogs off. Uh, it looks like he's going to be in either the yellow building closest to me on the other side of the fence or the larger white building. I believe it is the white building. It looks like he's on either the first or the second story. So I am just going to go ahead and start dropping down right here. Beautiful. Boots down on the ground. Safe and sound. I will crouch quietly. Make my way over to here he is. What the hell is he doing? So, is that a dead guy? You're what a ghost looks like. Huh? Is that a dead guy? Who's our friend? This... It's the CIA gone rogue. Okay. Didn't know about that. Stole a whole lot of serious intel out of Langley. Uh-huh. Oh, <gasps> oh, my God. Look at, to sell it. Look at my team on the ground. Tires. Oh, my God. My team is walking around the base. He's selling to them. Then what's he doing in a Unidad camp? Please don't get caught. to buy protection. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. It didn't work out too well for him, did it? You got exactly what he deserved. Oh, shit. That sounds like Sam did it. Let's have a look what we got here. Sounds like he killed him. Holy shit. Yeah, he got what he deserved. Son of a bitch. What? Put the Langley intel on a Unidad server. Okay, English. Now I can hack this, but the problem is, as soon as I open that door, we're gonna have a lot of bad guys. A whole lot of undesirables. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, I that's usually how it goes. Security. Yep. Look, sling and lead. The problem is, is, this is gonna take some time, and I gotta hack the server, download mm -hmm. the Langley files, mm -hmm. and then bleach the hard drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if that shows up, you turn on the lead fire. Oh, they're already here, my guy. Oh, well. They're already here. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. When do I get control Enemy back? Right here. Here we go. Okay. We need a diversion. We need guns for a higher team. I need you right here. Please and thank you. Let me go ahead and uh, get my primary weapon out. Looks like we'll take out this sniper. That's going to... We already have a man down. Two men down. We shoot these windows out. Looks like we got one guy right here. That's exactly why I shot him out, was because I didn't know if anybody would approach from the balcony. Alrighty, we're going to be uh, as conservative with our ammo as we possibly can, because it doesn't look like we have a cache anywhere close to us. How's it going there? How you doing? We have a chopper overhead as well. I want to check the rear flank, uh, just to make sure that it looks like there's a sniper tower out here. I don't have eyes on him, though, so I'm just going to keep focusing over here. I don't want to get pinned by him. Just light it up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. He's dead. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, the, if I can take the drone jammer out out there, then I think I'll be uh, pretty damn good in terms of having a... Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, I'm going to need two bikes. Come on. ADS on this last guy. ADS on this last guy. Where are you at? Peek your head out. Peek your head out. 
Your guy's on the right. There we go. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Looks like we have another truck that's down here. I'm going to go ahead and right toss down. a grenade out and see maybe we get some of them down there. Doesn't look like it. What about another one over right here? Out. Maybe well, somebody. It looks like we got one guy up the stairs. All right. Going back to hip fire just for visibility. Get this out of my sight. That way it doesn't glare as bad. I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. It looks like another guy right here. Swap shoulders. Get a good view of him. There we go. One by one, they fall. One by one, they fall. Uh, there's still another There's still another thing down there. I only have one grenade left. I don't know if I can really make it work. Uh, but one thing... Oh, it looks like they picked each other up. Okay, that's a good thing. So what I will do now is go to the... Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Okay, go back, go back. No more grenade launcher. Take this guy out. Take this guy out. Down, down, down. There we go. And now I'm going to aim for the drone jammer. I think that that was it. Right there. It looks like we got a couple guys. Oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck, 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 fuck. That's a... Damn, that right there. No, get the ground. No, 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 no. I wanted to go prone. I hit the wrong button. Fucking muscle memory. Oh, shit, dudes. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, this is the only... Get down. Get down. God damn it. No. I tried to turn over and she stood up. God damn it. No. I wanted to talk up a little bit closer to the desk right there so I could deploy a drone. I have one teammate out there. I have one right. teammate out there. Oh, I didn't want to die during this mission, but what are you going to do, man? Look at all the people out there. Okay, it looks like my teammate is with me right now. We should be okay. We should be okay. We still got other guys coming up here. Uh, it's taking around from, uh, was that just the, I think that was actually just the, uh, the what's it, um, the, the adrenaline syringe or whatever the hell he hit me with there. All right, that guy is dead. Checking the rear, just making sure that we're still clear. Let me get off of the uh, off of the grenade launcher. I think that we're safe. Okay, that's why I had to swap weapons was because I was on the grenade launcher and I couldn't get off of it in time. Uh, I don't want to peek out there for the choppers. I do not want to expose myself to them. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is deploy the drone, something that I wanted to do before. We're going to identify where all these guys are at and boom, just blow them all up as much as we can. I don't know if I got anyone, to be honest, but you know what? I tried. At the very least, I tried. I can also get another diversion in here. Another uh, call for uh, another call for guns for hire. Hi, how's it going? Beautiful. He is dead. Looks like another guy up here. Can take him out through the wall. Hack is complete. One more guy right here. One more guy. One more guy. I'm now online. Oh, hey, the Ubisoft things came back. Yeah, they've been, like, under maintenance or something like that all day. I, I keep getting a pop-up message about it. Um, can this guy peek me so that I can kill him and then go out and take the chopper? I really would... I would really appreciate... <gasps> I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is this guy at? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so, but it definitely is. Uh, that guy must have moved out of the area, so I think I'm just going to start venturing over here. And... Can I? Yes, I can. And I did. Uh, Matchwood, you might want to stay in cover here. Uh, we have a bit of a problem involving a chopper. And, uh, I got spotted from this side too, so... I'm just gonna lay into that guy as much as I can. You know what? We're gonna go to the vector for this because I'm running low on ammo. And I need to, I need to conserve as much ammo. Watch out, Matchwood! I need to conserve as much ammo as I possibly can to take those choppers out. So, I think I might be safe to start moving on that. Matchwood, can you take cover, please? And thank you! I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, unfortunately, we won't be able to shoot through cover uh, with this particular firearm, but I can still try to do something. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. I'm literally one hit. I'm literally one hit right now. Lit literally one hit. I think that guy got taken out somehow. I don't know exactly how. Uh, Matchwood, why are you doing yoga? What the fuck are you doing, Matchwood? All right, another explosive drone coming out. Let's see if I can track down these guys. Looks like they're down here. I think I got two. I think I got two with that. All right, we're going to go back to our primary weapon. Start making our way out here. And we have about four mags uh, that we can use to deal with this chopper. He's going to be scooping around on the other side. Let me see if I can get him out the back window right about here. There we go. That should light him up nice and good. There we go. He is down. Looks like we have another one right here. Come on, baby. Holy shit. What did you... What the fuck? Hang on. Hit Let me see if I can... There we go. That's how I like to do it. All right. Get the hell out of there. Matchwood, there's a chopper coming down very soon here. All right. Get reloaded. Back on the primary. Not on the M203 anymore. Unload into this guy. Oh, shit. Don't fire on me. Don't fire on me. Don't fire on me. Is he going to go down? He's going down, baby. He's going down right on top of the fucking building nonetheless. Okay. What are we doing here? Eggs fill with Fisher to La Cruz Alpha. Okay. So I need to get... 
A big old boom down here. That took out a lot of them. Holy shit. Another big old boom down on those guys. Fortunately, I missed there. But I think... Look at all of those vehicles that are down there. So many guys came into this place. Holy fucking hell. All right. Let's go back, uh, I think, to the vector. How many rounds do we have? Do a sit rep. I think this is going to be what we use from here on out. A couple guys out there. Is that what I'm seeing? I don't see him anywhere. Let me go. Oh, I see him moving out. I see him moving. It's in the roadway. I actually think I'm going to go over to the AUG for this. And just take him out with a nice, clean headshot. Okay, so far, so good. Uh, I think the last thing that I want to do here is probably just get another M203 out on those guys. And then the last one goes on the generator right there. That should take care of a lot. Oh, fuck. We have another bird. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, let me go around the back over here. And let's see if we... Oh, no. Uh, get back over primary. There we go. There we go. There we go. I am so lucky my team helped unload into that thing. Because if they didn't, I wouldn't have had enough rounds to do it. In fact, I'm going to be swapping weapons here, you guys. I'm going to be getting rid of... Of the beautiful fucking... I need more ammo! Are you kidding? I got left with the same ammo? Okay, is my AUG down here? Aw, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. It's been so long since I played the game that I completely forgot that you can't pick up ammo off the ground. God damn it. All right, let's see if I can unload into these guys from up here. We'll keep pushing down, checking corners, making sure that we're safe. All of these vehicles, unfortunately, have been taken out, so I need to fight my way to the armory and uh, see what I can do. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. You see if I can get this guy taken out before he sends some rockets out. He's smoking black. He's almost there. Got him. Nice. All right. Armory is next. Armory is next. We need to reload and uh, get ready to go. What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, I have a I feeling that there's this. better things to do than get this, but I got a spas now. Oh my god, that feels so good to have full ammo. Okay, we go back to the primary, make sure we're not on the grenade launcher. I don't have the AUG anymore, no. Son of a bitch, that's, that sucks. I'm so bummed about that. Grenade. That's okay, though. Not, yeah, grenade, grenade, go, go, go. Matchwood, don't die to that. Please, for the love of God, don't die to that. All right, we're going to have to exfil out the back, I think. Let's go, Matchwood. Let's go, baby. We got to get out this way. We're only being hunted now. Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Let's see if we can find somebody over here. Maybe we can find a vehicle or something like that over here. That's going to be a rebel. Looks like this Unidad bird is looking for us, but it has not found us. So I'm going to go ahead and remain undetected as best as I possibly can. No, thank you. Shit. I muscle memories a bitch. Oh my God. They're firing rockets and I have like no fucking cover whatsoever. We've just got to book it. You guys, we got to book it as quick as we possibly can. Trying to maintain cover from this bad mamma jamma. I should be able to take him out, but unfortunately my my uh, my current weapon is not as powerful as my AUG. It doesn't have as high of a fire rate. Wait for it. Okay, beautiful. It didn't blow me up, and Matchwood is a fucking tank, so I don't need to worry about him. We're going to keep evacing out this way. Come on, Matchwood. Stay with me. Stay with me. Get out, Matchwood. Get out, Matchwood. I need you with me. I need you here, Matchwood, right now. Oh, my God. Shit's hitting the fan. Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? Dude, let's go, buddy. Come on. We're going. We're going. We need a car. We need a car. And I actually just found the car. I just found the car. Hey, give me the car. Rebels. Rebels. Car. Now. God damn it. I'm going to have to take it off the civilian. Out of the car. I don't have time to wait for them at all. Come on, Matchwood. Hop in. Time to move, man. <gasps> We're stuck by the train on the on the good side they're stuck on the other side of the train too just hopefully none of my team dies to it i can only fit two of them in the back god damn that was hectic i didn't want to die i didn't want to die but you know what that was a good run not bad. Not a good beat. oh shit thanks team please shoot as much as you possibly can thank you love you guys oh my god how the f how do we even begin to guys you might want to get in from the windows i i have a feeling i hit you a couple times there i do apologize uh yeah so sam you were saying we lost them oh my god we lost them did we actually just do it team's not bad not as good as me 
You're not bad. You're not as good as me. I might tell you you're full of shit. Ah! But I know what crybabies you sailors are. So, what's all this about? Yeah, seriously. That CIA jackass back there stole intel on a hot shit new technology. Okay. Now, he figured the cartel could use it to get its product across yeah. the Yeah. Lieutenant right here. Oh my god, I'm losing control. Wet roadway you, in a sedan. Much, much and I had to make a left here. No. You don't no. know what this tech is? No. There we go. Or are you just not telling? What we've got here is the kind of war fighting gadgets. Uh huh. Put you and me out of business. Oh, so robots? It's got the higher up sweating bullets. Figures. Figures. Oh, <gasps> we need to add patrol on alert. We had a roadblock. Fuck. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Team, feel. Feel free to open fire at any point in time, my guys. Oh my god. Oh shit. Are we... We're being pursued by a chopper? What? Gotta gun it, man. That's the only thing that we can do here. It looks like that uh, that one vehicle that's trying to fire on us, the technical, uh, might actually be far enough away to where we don't have to worry about it anymore. We're gonna have another roadblock up here. Just gotta go through it like it doesn't even exist. I have to make a left! No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got it, we got it. Rebels, thank you. Appreciate you. Keep them occupied. Poor favor. Oh my god, man. This mission was insane. Holy shit, and we're not even done with it yet, technically. There's a Lamborghini, but I'm not gonna be taking that. How's it going, my dude? Go ahead, yeah, gun him down, gun him down. Take him out, take him out. Don't let him call it in. Don't let him call it in, my dudes. How fucking long does it take for you to, to kill a lieutenant? All right, stop shooting, stop shooting, stop shooting. We got Unidad right behind us, and I have a feeling, I have a feeling that they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be coming up on us right here. So let me see. Where did I make, where did I make a wrong turn? I don't even know where I made the wrong turn. I thought I was supposed to. Oh, I see where it's at. I see where it's at. It was like a, it was like a button hook that I missed. Okay, okay. It was when I was. Uh, Hey, how's it going, guys? How you doing? See you later. Thank God they're out of the car now. They probably won't get back into it. All right, it's going to be right here. This is the turn that I missed. I was just so focused on that lieutenant right there. Unidad is still very heavily uh, present in the area. So we have to keep the pedal down as much as possible. Sounds like what Sam was doing was trying to recover some sensitive information based on, uh, you know, everything that he saw. Is that the lieutenant still behind? Yeah, it is. He's chasing us for some reason. I'm trying to direct them in the correct direction. Let me go ahead and turn uh, night vision off as well. It looks like it's about bright enough to where we can see what we're doing. Also, I, I mean, at this point, I, I don't know, man. Like, I have a feeling we're gonna have a big old firefight back at the, uh, uh, back at the rally point, La Cruz Alpha. I'm not even entirely sure where it's located at. Uh, this might have been an easier extract with either an armored vehicle or a chopper, but. <laughs> Like, all of the armored vehicles, I blew them up. They were all together. And the ones on the extreme ends were the ones that got blown up. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and it also looks like uh, Unidad is stepping down from their patrol. But we still have that one car down there. And we have rebels here as well. So, hopefully, they can get aggroed onto the Unidad. And then that just becomes their problem. Because we are about 500 meters out from our destination and completion of the mission. Unless there's another part to it. That definitely felt like the whole mission, though. God damn, I wish I wouldn't have died. I wish I wouldn't have died that one time. It was just a silly little thing where I, you know, I, I got too close to the desk and she popped back up. And I don't even know why it happened because... What the hell? I didn't, I didn't even see that. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Sorry, sorry. This is my first time driving this car. Not mine. Definitely not mine all right matchwood i got you covered go ahead and get inside am i leading the way okay all right he doesn't walk into any door before uh first i guess linda how you doing you're looking good real good <laughs> it's karen today oh you look like you've clocked some miles since we last spoke yeah a few i've heard they don't make them like me anymore there was this other guy though army infiltration he wore a bandana or something no way. I heard he finally retired. No way. Really? Yep. No way. It's only me. Dude, is that what I think yeah. it is? Is that a reference to what I think it is? I do. I'll be delivering it personally. Yeah, I don't blame you, dude. <laughs> I don't blame you. Grim sent word. 
About what? Chairman of the Joint Chiefs says there's a possible empty quiver. I can get you airborne in one hour. Really? Is there another you part? Know, a guy once said, the price of success is hard work and dedication. Yeah. It's good working Ten with you, sir. Call me Sam. Look, <laughs> Where's my voice you lines? What you do. You watch your six, huh? Always, my guy. Always. I gotta go find my rifle. Time to go back to the base. An hour, huh? That's right. You got any coffee? This is Bolivia. Of course there's coffee. <laughs> oh my god, that cutscene? That was awesome! Was that seriously a Metal Gear Solid reference? Was that what I think it is? Like, holy shit, was that what I think it is? Oh my god, man. What a mission. Again, that's got to be the end, right? That's the end of the mission. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Operation Watchman, joint op with Sam Fisher is complete. When I first heard about this mission a long time ago, um, I really thought that it was a uh, kind of an introduction to uh, possibly, I don't know, a, a new uh, Splinter Cell game coming out or something like that. I wasn't entirely sure, uh, but regardless... Um, it, it, you know, now that enough time has passed, it's obvi obviously been like six months since this mission was released. Uh, there is no new Splinter Cell game, but God, does that make me want to play another Splinter Cell game in an open world fashion, you know, nonetheless, where, uh, where we can, uh, where, where we can just kind of almost like behave like we do in Wildlands, but just in that universe. And speaking on that, I actually will say, you guys, I've been getting the bug to stream uh because i've never played it before uh metal gear solid the phantom pain i have never ever played that game before all my friends play it they love it um and uh, dudes please don't get too close to that i wanted to blow it up down there i wanted to can you guys move away i really wanted to demo that car um i would appreciate it if you got out of the blast radius that would be very nice of you uh Maybe not then. Okay, we'll try to do it at the end of the episode then. Um, but uh, yeah, so I might be streaming Metal Gear Solid, uh, the Phantom Pain down the road. We'll just see how it goes. Oh shit, I have my AUG back. Wait a minute. Is this my AUG? Yeah, this is my AUG. Nice. I got it back. Sweet. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter and, uh, and, and, you know, uh, obviously in recordings and stuff like that, if I do plan on busting it out, uh, right now my game plan for Twitch is to go with Tomb Raiders, uh, so that I can play, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider here on YouTube. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. I want to talk about, uh, the, I, I want to talk about the future of Wildlands on the channel. Wildlands is obviously a very successful series on my channel. I really enjoy it a lot. I know I'm not the best at the game, but I try my best. I always put my all uh, into, you know, what I'm doing, and I, I do my best to, um, to make it theatrical and make it fun for you guys. Well, I think what I want to do for the future of Wildlands is change it up, and by that I mean no HUD and on extreme mode. For those of you guys, uh, that have been watching me on Twitch, you will know what I'm talking about, but let me give you guys a brief uh, synopsis, kind of, of what we've been doing over on Twitch. Me and my best friend, IRL, uh, Hellraiser, uh, we got into playing this game during my break of YouTube, and I, I needed, I needed to hang out with a friend, and he lives on the other side of the state, but because video games are such a beautiful thing, we were able to, you know, hang out with each other for hours on end and, and just enjoy the game. Uh, we're really good at it in a team, just like we normally are whenever we're on each other's team. Um, and so from that, we started really getting into the game. We started role playing the game. So I think I'm going to start experimenting with doing other things on Wildlands. Uh, there will probably be a short video clip uh, at the very end of this video after the outro screen where you guys can see uh, a, a very small mission that Hellraiser and I ran on Twitch, uh, role playing out the game. And, uh, and honestly, I want your feedback on it. I want you guys to tell me if you think it would be a cool way to beat the game because in my eyes I don't want this game to become stale it's so good and look at all this shit like where have we been where there's pine trees right fucking over there in uh Caimanes or uh off here in in La I've never even been to this part of the map there's still so much more to explore and I don't want the beauty and the diversity of the map and the game 
to be lost with a redundant play style. I want to swap it up just a little bit. So if you guys are interested in giving me a little bit of constructive criticism, the one thing that I will say is that his mic quality will likely not be able to change. It's just kind of the way that it is because he's not hes not a YouTuber. He's not a streamer. He's just my best friend. He, he d uses Discord on his phone and it works out very, very well. So please do watch until the end. I will try to put in a couple little snippets in there for you guys to get a taste of what it's like. I don't want it to get stale. I know I've rambled a little bit, but I didn't really know how to how to say I wanted to change the series up. Now, there is also a chance that I could bounce back and forth between doing some provinces with Hellraiser in a dual roleplay situation. Um, and there's other instances where I may revert and go back to playing it solo. Obviously, based on schedules and stuff like that, we'll see how it goes. Uh, regardless, it's just about playing it by ear, and the first thing that I want to hear is your guys' uh, constructive criticism on it. And also, just to show you guys, uh, if I go to the HUD really quick, let me go to options really quick, and let me go to the HUD. Uh, no HUD is literally, we do this on Twitch um, all the fucking time, and I actually started playing on PC a little bit. It is, <laughs> there's no HUD. You can't see if you're if you're shooting rounds, you can't see if you're shooting your grenade launcher. You have to be a responsible fuck about your weapons and make sure that you know exactly what it is that you're doing. Rebel, I want to demo that vehicle. Can you please get out of there? Just go. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. All right. Now I know what to do if I ever need a rebel to move. Beautiful. Finally, we got to demo the vehicle. Anyway, guys, that's about all I wanted to say. I just want to thank you for your support on this game. I love it. It's so much fun to play and bring you guys entertainment on it. I hope you have as much fun as I do because I have a blast recording these episodes. Please make sure uh, yet again to watch after the end face logo thing uh, and check out the uh, the roleplay from Hellraiser and I. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, you guys like roleplay if you're here on my channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited for the future of this series. Really, really excited. Okay, that is the end of my ramble, you guys. Please, if you made it this far, leave a like down below, support the series, and I will catch all of you in the next one. So, friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys again. Okay, it's on the northern shore, he said, right? Mm-hmm. That's okay. correct, I believe. Let's go straight north from here and then we ride the shore. I highly doubt it's off to our uh it's off to our west. If it is, he would have found it. It's gotta be to the west. End. Yeah, you have right you're right. Cause what happens when someone's relative goes missing, you fucking you go find them. So it's gotta be in an a eye out. it's in a hard spot. My detail is very low. I think your nogs are better than mine. You've got that uh, that newer filter yep, on yours, right? I'm looking. I'm looking. I mean, you have uh, you've you've got different like you've got different nogs than mine. You've got like that. That's right. I've got the yep, yep, yep. Okay. The pretty right. uh, pretty state of the art, pretty up to date. Minor. I'm just running the trapper patch, so it's a minor, very noisy. I mean, more than anything, I utilize it for thermal. Nogs are great with uh, with laser sights, but. Mm -hmm. More than anything, I just yeah. Want we're that deviating thermal. a little ways from where uh, where I was getting the impression that he said, but I haven't seen anything so far. So Me either, keep scanning yeah. the shoreline. My eyes are glued. We'll go all the way to the end and see what we can find. Why not be in? Whoa. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 if you go thermal, you can almost immediately tell that's a cave. Oh, I don't have the thermal technology, but I can Roger see that. in there, yeah. No, that's definitely some kind of cave. Okay, we got it. All right, let me go the ahead and... Um, yep, it's going to be occupied. Roger that. Yeah, I see the light inside. Okay. Nice. Anyone up for walking through there? You know how long it takes for the boat right socks here. to dry off? It does look refreshing. I'll worry about wet socks, all right? Come on. Let's keep moving. All right, let's disembark. Okay. If you already have um, and you're not in the boat currently, then uh, reposition. We'll do. I'll be holding on the entrance to the cave, doing some scans. Actually, I'm going to send a drone out real quick.
It opens up into a big open chasm of sorts, stalactites and stalagmites, aplenty. Comes into a choke point. We have one times cartel watching the choke point. Supposed to be watching the choke point. The asshole has his back turned to it. Probably doesn't give a shit about his job. Amateurs, man. Got another tango. Looks like we have a secondary target on the way in as well. Just we have a dock with a boat. Oh, be advised. We've got a lot of cocaine in here. Sounds like a rich target. Yep, sounds like we're going to be blowing this place up. Hopefully we can find the brother before the charges go off. Yeah, I see about four guys, possibly more around the corner. Unfortunately, I'm not able to, uh, to search anymore. Uh, don't have eyes on you at the moment. Uh, can you give me an update yep. to 20? Um, I'm probably about 15 seconds out. Roger that. Holding at the cave entrance. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and push in through the bay. I'm, yep, I'm with you. I, I'm right here. I'm Ro the water okay. to your left. Roger that. Roger that. I was gonna say I was gonna clear it out and just make sure that I could cover you moving in, but we have stealth swim, swimming. so we should be okay. Swimming right behind you. Roger that. Uh, our targets are gonna be. Um, I'm turning nogs off, by the way. Our targets are gonna be uh, on the uh, 12 o'clock and then off to our 10 and 11 o'clock, and then some of our no on our 9 o'clock. It's basically a long corridor. The the cave makes a hard left turn. Um, there's going to be one guy right in the entryway that should be able to smoke pretty easily. If it pops off down here, make sure that we uh, stay suppressed as well. Roger I that. I don't want to lose my earring, uh, my hearing. <laughs> uh, hold, hold. I kind, of something you sign up for. kind of something you sign up for when you become a gunfighter. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, he's standing up. You can engage him if you wish. Okay, switching, making sure I'm suppressed here. Good shot. Go down. down. Turning the light off. I'm with you. Moviendo me adelante. Okay, I'm gonna take the guy at the 12 o'clock um, mm -hmm. long range. I want you to see if you can is if there's another opportune target that you might be able to engage from from this position. But this guy, yeah, I've got him perfectly lined up in one ear at the other. Uh, ne negative. Yep, he's a, he's shuffling. He may be moving. You have a target? Yeah, the one that's just to the left of the one you were looking at. Oh, you're aiming on him. Yep, okay, yep, so there's yep. a guy a little bit further down. Yeah, Ready. I'm aiming on the further guy. Okay, go. Go. Take good drops. Down. Good drops. Good drops. Good drops. Okay, hold. Let's when, find out what happens here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Still hidden. Yeah, yeah. I think we're safe moving here. Up, moving up to that barrier. Okay, be careful. We yeah, have enemies look. across the river. Enemies across the river. Um, or so whatever call. you want to call it. Um, they're behind the concrete barrier. I have mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five. Possible five enemies. Let me see if I can verify. Yeah, five enemies total. The There's going to be... Two, maybe three behind the concrete barriers. Two at the, uh, at the far back side of the cave where the candlelight is coming from. That warm amber glow. Um, right. And then uh, possibly one more where the more white light is between the concrete barriers and that um, candlelit area. Understood. I have one target right here that I can engage. He's close. He's going to be the far right one. Um, okay. If you pick another target, then uh, we can engage together. Let me get out my long range. Roger that. My target's got a shuffling. can on it, so we should be okay. Okay. Ready to engage whenever you are. Uh, I haven't been able to pick out a target yet. Oh, Roger wait. that. Take your time. So you've got that guy. I've got the guy that's got his back up against a, uh, a tin house yeah, with a yeah. lantern on his left. He's the first guy that we'll encounter okay. if we continue. I got that. one. Okay. Engage. Target's down. Tango down. Pattern of life is uh, changing. Weapons free. Oh. I think it's popping off. Yep. Sounds Weapons like they're showing. Free. Weapons free. Tell your ears I'm sorry. That's me too, yep. Two targets down. We have a third one in the back. Third one in the back. Good effect, good effect. Jack hammered him through the concrete barrier. I'm assigning an M203 out. Me. Hold, hold, hold. Roger okay, that. That should take care of him. 
Okay, I got you covered. Say good order. Push up. I got you covered. I'm also watching R6, making sure QRF isn't coming in. I'm blinded on the right side, by the way. I won't be able to see anything back there. How are you looking? I'm doing okay. Not taking any fire or anything. No, I can't tell on. if anybody's still alive. I'm moving up a little more. Roger that. I got one enemy KIA, two Roger enemies that. KIA. I think we may have cleared this place out. Roger that. I'll be swapping back to. Uh... Okay, I'll be swapping back to off of the tube. There we go. Making my way to you. Nog's off. It's pretty bright in here. Really yeah, fucking yeah. humid. Jeez, I can see. I can see my body cut through the air. the hell is this? Very disadvantageous cave. Like, it's really bright in some spots and really dark in others. I'm going to shut down some of these lights just to make it, just so we can go to the nogs and uh, and be able to see consistently. Roger that. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be assisting. Go. Nice. Okay, lights have been disabled. I got one more lantern back here. Or, yeah. actually looks like a lamp. Okay, it's done. Got it. Got a radio back okay. here, and it looks like I have some intel. See what I can find oh, yeah? in this box. Yeah, it's a filing Check cabinet. It Let me see here. Just rifle through a little bit. Um, got eyes on a. Is that a commendation? The intel said it was right here, in this Pretty base. Cool. Mhm. Mm Fuck. Do you think that that's his brother's metal? Oh. That sounded <laughs> explosive. There's cartel metals here. You good? Blew it up right in my face. You good? Yeah. Eh, eh. Still again. Gotta sign up for. Uh, oh, I guess that's what you sign up for right now. I'd be fire. all, I'd be all, I'd be all blacked out, like with soot and coughing up smoke and everything. I've got uh, one of those wily e. coyote moments. I've got a bloodied metal over here. Um, go ahead and collect it up. See if that was your brother's yeah. uh, or your uh, rebel friend's brother's metal. But aside from that, I have no eyes on any rebels that are in here. They may have executed him. Mm. Yeah. A little unfortunate, but what are you going to do? The unfortunate realities of Bolivia. Maybe returning that medal to them will uh, cartel, bring up their spirits. Cartel controlled Bolivia, that is. Yeah, exactly. But um, maybe returning that medal to them may uh, may up their spirits a little bit, you know? Make them feel a little happier. Give them All a little right. bit of closure. It's Hell important. yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe they might fight a little bit harder, you know, from here on out. Um... I'm going to go ahead and start from the back over here, buddy. Let's uh, tag as much shit as we possibly can to blow. I like it. I don't think I'm going to blow any I'll of this I'll take this other anymore. side of the bay. There's a lot of supplies of cocaine that I'm going to go ahead and rig. Roger that. I'll uh, double up a C4 over there and maybe some mines as well, just to increase the explosion. I'll be traveling light after this point. I've got the C4 primed. C4 in place. Explosivos listos. Got two charges down. I'll put the final the one on this boat right here. Primed and in place. All right. Okay. I'm gonna put, are set. Where are your explosives? Oh, I see one of them. Okay. I'm going to put the mine. Yep, got one right here. Roger that. I'm putting a mine right yep. here just to place increase the, the explosive here. radius. Sure. I see your other C4 over here as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead Should and Should take the out the majority of this stuff. Mine. Yeah, there you and go. whatever it doesn't take out, it's definitely going to bring the cave down on top of it. If they want to snort fucking silica, then let them do it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Get back to the boat. We'll blow charges when we're outside. Got... God damn, it is bright. Is it daytime? I think so. Oh, my yeah. My eyes are... Oh, God, my eyes. Ugh. can take this heavy off, this heavy-ass helmet off now. I know, right? Once we get back to Alpha, change the outfit. My right eye's fucked up, so I gotta keep the patch on, but... I mean, about two years ago, it fused to <laughs> my true skin. True pirate fashion. True pirate <laughs> fashion. <laughs> you got the eye patch running. Exactly, we got for our uh, nighttime, going. the real night Nautical vision mission. goggles. Yeah. Yep. Swap the eye patch over. Alright, boat's still here. Hopping in. And, uh, oh, uh, I'll, be, I'll be exiting the boat. Um, I need to, um... I need to ensure that I can blow the charges properly. Okay, falling back to the boat now. Apologies, I just had to make sure that I have my detonator in hand. Yeah. 
All right, man. Well, let's go back to Alpha. Let's go talk to uh, let's go talk to what's his bucket and give him the bad news. Blow charges. Hear that? Yep. Get the hell out of here before That's the sound they of thousands tsunami. of cartel members crying over the loss of their hidden hideout. <laughs> I'm assuming that that was probably five million dollars worth of cocaine. Oh, searching easy. Searching for this, searching for easy. this guy's brother actually turned out to be one hell of a mission. Major victory for the rebels and for uh, for the people of Bolivia. Yep. Viva la revolution. Viva Bolivia. Viva.